and welcome to another community update vlog here on the Siri Pixel Biology Community channel. And it's been a really interesting week and before I start freaking out about the really cool things that are coming up this week, like the battle system in Sims 4, oh, that's going to be showing up for the kids so that they can battle their little like digital animals against each other. I'm actually really excited about that even though it sounds kind of violent when you say it like that. <laughs> But before we start talking about that, I wanted to talk about some of the really awesome adventures we've gotten up to this week, which includes Crowfeather Y. So for those of you guys who don't watch our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series, the things I'm about to talk about will make absolutely no sense. So hang in there for just a moment. But I realized in these update vlogs, I often will try to tell you guys the big plans of what I have this week. And honestly, we put out anywhere from five to eight videos a day just with the series that we're currently running. And I want to add so many more things. I want to be able to add in like Subnautica. I want to be able to bring back Pixelmon. I really, 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 really want to start the Sims or the Minecraft, not Sims, what the heck, the Minecraft dinosaur side series and the Minecraft farming side series. I, d I already have the art done for that. I already have like so many things and then we just have so much on our plates. We still have our daily wolf quest series going out. There's just a lot going on. <laughs> So I realize these update vlogs often end up becoming a list of things that I wish to get done with the week and I just can't predict that anymore with how much goes on and how much we do and I try to keep to a pretty steady schedule but you just never know what might happen so why don't we talk about the things that have happened instead and the things we're looking forward to and the things that have happened are Crowfeather in our Minecraft or Minecraft what the heck in our Sims 3 series I'm getting all my series jumbled together because there's so many of them so many of you guys but in our Sims 3 Warrior Cats series, our cat Crowfeather, spoilers if you guys haven't seen it, so you might want to like come back in a minute or two, has gone with his brother to Branch Clan. So the secret family relation between Crowfeather and Branch Star has been revealed, and he has decided to go with his brother to Branch Clan just temporarily because his brother did threaten to take him by force if he didn't go, and he did make a deal. You come with us and just stay until summer, aka Greenleaf in Branch Clan, and you can take all of the fish that we have in excess and take it to Moss Clan, who's currently been hit by meteors and is recovering from all of the forest fire that happened from that, and also the fact that one of their cats has turned into like half a tree. If you don't watch the Warrior Cat Sims 3 series, you're missing out on a lot of drama, <laughs> just so you know. Uh, they now get all of the extra fish that, Mo that Branch Clan doesn't eat if Crowfeather has agreed to this deal of going and staying with his brother. And he fully has the intention right now of going back to Moss Clan in the summer, aka Greenleaf, but we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what kind of drama happens, and that's happening, and Dawn Step is expecting kids again, which is a whole other dramatic point that we'll hopefully have a chance to talk about tomorrow when the next episode should come out. Warrior Cats ideally comes out Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but we'll have to see we'll have to see what happens because <laughs> there's so much always going on. Oh my goodness. But I really love that. And the whole reason that Crowfeather went is mostly because he wanted to protect Moss Clan by going willingly with this deal, then everyone knows in Moss Clan, his his Moss Clan leader, Lionstar included, that he can bring back all of the excess fish and he's going to do that so that the clan can hopefully recover faster, since there's not really a lot of prey to eat in the forest now that it's been hit by a meteor and had a forest fire, but they can't move because one of their cats is literally rooted to the ground. Lots going on in the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series, like I said. So Crowfeather's Arch, which we kind of stumbled into because the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series only has like a little bit of plot, like a 10% liquor of plot that I use to kind of weave everything together. And all of the rest is just what the game and the random generators throw at us. So we sort of stumble in to this arch because I really thought that Crowfeather was going to die. And then we found like coincidentally a couple healing items that kept him alive. But this new little story is going to kind of address the struggle between family and clan in the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. And a lot of you guys, 99% of you guys are saying it's clan every time. But we're going to try to really kind of tackle that question head on and address it from like a story standpoint, which might make some of our younger viewers upset because they have a hard time 
accepting like the whole context of a complicated storyline, but we're going to try to address clan versus family in the Sims 3 series, especially with a few things and a few storylines that are going to be cropping up pretty soon. We already have clan versus family when it comes to Bear Glow and Moonpaw. We now have clan versus family when it comes to Crowfeather and Branchstar, and we have clan versus family with another secret set that's about to go down, and you guys will see what happens there. So there's lots of fun things going on in that series. I'm constantly amazed by the immense support and excitement we have for it. It's so inspiring to see how it's become by accident the story that has just evolved into something so big. When I first started the very first episode of the Sims 3 War Cat series, I told myself, Siri, don't make this complicated because you are already overwhelmed. You already have so many projects to do. Keep it simple, Siri. Keep it simple. There's nothing simple about what we do now. Pages and pages of Google documents, random generators that I have to run for every little thing, it seems. There's nothing simple about what we have created. The role-playing scenes at the beginning, the role-playing scenes that are going to hopefully start showing up. Somebody mentioned every Wednesday, wouldn't it be cool if you did like a little role-play scene? And I think we might try that out if I can find the time. I... I have all of these ideas, all these projects. I'm the mama hen who's trying to sit on like this mountain of eggs and hatch them all at once basically. And it's not going to be successful, but I'm going to try. Gosh darn it. But um, Wednesdays I might start doing just like a short, maybe not even 10 minute snippet between the cats. So they'll just kind of display a little bit more of their personalities or clan life or what's going on. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And I do want to bring back Star Clan Speaks, which was a really fun way to have you guys like kind of do a and a series with the characters in that series. And it was a really unique thing. It's a really unique idea. It's definitely something I'm going to continue. We just got hit by meteors, so it kind of slew everything to the side for a little while. But I really love the challenge of engaging with our entire community in whole new ways in our series lately. With doing Star Clan Speaks, it's when people can ask the characters in our Warrior Cat series direct questions. And with doing our Zoo Tycoon 2 Sea Turtle Zoo, it's been amazing. I am having so much fun with that because we have completely taken the future of the ecology and put it in your guys' hands. And you guys vote on Straw Poll every episode what we should spend our research funds on. And that directly affects what shows up the next time we go back to the cove. And we're trying to breed up 100 sea turtles is the overall goal and have a five star like cove five star not like natural park but it depends on what's going to happen so how quickly that happens or if we add in the wrong animal and it eats all of our sea turtles or eats all of the seaweed and then the sea turtles starve to death is totally in your guys hands and i really love that and i love that kind of interaction and that's what you can expect to see in the future with other series as well i'm trying to bring that level of interaction in with the straw poles and wolf quest which got really dramatic today and i have to say i'm really proud i've been able to keep it going it's a lot harder than it seems to do daily wolf quest and i've been keeping daily wolf quest going it's been really fun and taking in your guys' ideas, and then using straw poles so that the adventures and things that happen to our wolves and develop their personalities are determined by the community as a whole, by what you guys vote on. I love doing that kind of stuff. That is, like I've said before, going to be the heart of what we do in our Minecraft farming side series, where you're going to help like certain villagers move in, and you're going to help them kind of get married. It's kind of like a... a Minecraft meets Horse Haven meets Harvest Moon sort of series that I want to have going. So hopefully I can get that going. I already, like I said, have the art done for it. It's just finding the time and kind of getting over the initial hump of setting it up because getting something up and going is the hardest part. And once you can get a series going and get in the flow of it, it gets easier. Speaking of which, zoo crafting. Zoo crafting has come back and that is something I want to really hold into, like sink my teeth into and not let go. And it really is because I got stage fright. <laughs> and I don't know how many people who can have like 70,000 subscribers and community members and all these people watching their stuff all day get stage fright still. But that's definitely me. So I wanted to tell you guys that just so you know it's a normal thing. It happens. I got stage fright with zoo crafting because you get so much pressure of like, what is zoo crafting? you start questioning everything. It's like, am I being educational enough or am I supposed to go on adventures? Am I supposed to create characters or am I supposed to focus on building things? And um, suddenly you just can't do anything because you come paralyzed with indecision. And I've been so touched by people quoting back what I said a few Zoo Crafting episodes ago, that if you wanna go on an adventure, you have to show up. 
The adventure won't come to you if you don't show up for it. And if you show up, then the adventure is probably going to show up too. So I've been showing up on Zoo Crafting and I'm really enjoying the results. And today we added in a really cool little information sheet using a combination of mods, using the Bibliocrafting mod and custom paintings, and using the NPC mod and its dialogue settings. And I was able to add something completely new into our Zoo Crafting world that we have never had in almost two and a half years before of having sort of an interactive sheet to read information on and to learn from for real life facts of animals in our Minecraft zoo, which is 100% what it was all about from the beginning. And it feels amazing. So I was really happy to get that done. So that's what's been going down. We have some wolves that we're experimenting with in Taito Ecology. The Midsummer Festival was so fun in Star Stable. I had a great time. It was totally all about flowers and running around the place and I'm scaring the poor little tripping sparrow who's trying to eat the bird, feed from, bird seed from the feeder right behind the phone. Sorry, I didn't mean to do it. It's so cute, you guys, it's so cute. But Midsummer Festival was totally awesome. If you were one of the many people there and I was just terrified and like dozens of people were following me on their horses in the server and I was just like, this is why I should never go to a convention. I'm so nervous right now because there were just so many people. But if you were one of those people who were really nice and when I got lost on the quest and people could tell because I would like circle in the same spot riding on my horse, like where the heck is this maypole? I'm being told this maypole is right here and I can't find it. And you guys pointed out where it was and helped me finish quests and helped me find out where to buy these beautiful little flower crowns. Thank you so much for that. And thank you so much to all of you guys who are from, uh, we had a lot of Swedish commenters, a lot of you guys from Sweden or other places in Europe that do celebrate uh, raising the Maypole and Midsummer Festivals. It was really fun to hear from you guys and how you had celebrated that last week and how much fun you had around the Maypole or how bummed out you were because it rained that day. It was really awesome to see that glimpse of a culture that's totally different from mine in our community that we share, like in the comments that way. It was awesome. So thank you guys so much for that. So that's what's been going down and there's lots of other series that we've been doing. Oh, things are really heating up in Stardew Valley. I'm gonna have to make my final decision on who to marry pretty soon and it's all over the place and opinions are strongly divided like everywhere, but I know who it's going to be and you guys can probably guess who it's going to be by now too. And yeah, that's just like touching on the tip of the iceberg for all the series and all the things we're trying to do. You guys have seen Chickenberry back there growing up and hopefully I can get more Chickenberry vlogs for you because Chickenberry is doing very well. We move in about a month again. So expect to see lots of stuff on the vlog channel about gearing up for the move and moving and just the excitement of that. I cannot wait to share the adventure of being able to finally put roots in and not have to move every single year. We hopefully won't have to move again for like five or six years because we'll be locked in place in Michigan for a little while. I will be so happy because I've moved at least once a year, every year, sometimes up to two or three times a year, every year for the last eight years. I'm ready to stop moving so much. I'm ready to put my roots down. I'm ready to have an office where I can put up your guys' amazing artwork and comments and creations and that I can really make into a space where we make our community come to life even more and also can make our portals really happy by having like really awesome huge cages that I want to put together so they have even more free flying space. So I'm looking forward to all of it and there's so many adventures you guys and I wish I could promise you guys Pixelmon Ranger, I wish I could promise you Subnautica, I wish I could promise you everything because there's so many stories I want to tell and all I can say is I'm going to do my best and if you guys can leave comments telling me hey I'm really looking forward to this like tomorrow's The Sims 4 release oh I just remembered yeah oh. so they're having another release of another new Sims 4 piece um, and this one's going to be for the kids it's a kids stuff pack and it's going to have like a little digital card like you collect cards and you put them on a digital machine and it makes little digital creatures pop up and you battle them. So basically like Yu-Gi-Oh! in Sims 4 is what I'm gathering from it. But that releases tomorrow. And there's also a little puppet show! There's gonna be an adorable little puppet show that you can get like a little soft puppet pu puppet show theater that you can get for the kids in Sims 4. So that comes out tomorrow. And we're definitely going to be playing that. So hopefully I can get caught up on everything else like Zoo Crafting, Wolf Quest, Warriors. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. So there's a few other things that are due tomorrow. 
but if I can get all of those kind of up and taken care of, then I definitely am going to be diving into Sims 4 and we're gonna have a lot of fun with that because I can totally imagine, especially Ash, who's like our video game fanatic, uh, and he's an adult, but I can totally imagine him collecting all of the cards and even using the Sims 4 get together to make clubs where we could like battle together and whoever wins the battles gets to go up a rank and we can like assign a little trophy they can get. I think that would be a lot of fun. So adventures, adventures everywhere. Delicious peach tea, by the way. I love my peach tea. Uh, and oh, in the forest be with you. Isn't that so fun? But yeah, there's going to be some real life adventures coming up. So keep an eye on the vlog channel. It's been a little depressing lately because there have been so many personal family losses lately. But I want to bring back like the happier side of things and walking and appreciating North Carolina for the last month that we will be living in it. And lots and lots of adventures <laughs> when it comes to the many, 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 many stories that we tell every day here on the channel. And I would love to hear what you guys are looking forward to because your guys comments on these update vlogs have a direct influence on figuring out okay I'm out of energy I'm out of time I only have enough time to do one episode I had three on the schedule what gets picked that the, what gets picked is based off of what you guys talk about what I know is going to make so, someone really excited and happy and I pick that one so yeah let me know let me know you guys and if I have some extra energy and you guys talked about like Siri I really love watching Anita bake cookies in the Sims 3 101 Dalmatians challenge it may give me the boost I need to be like you know what I'm gonna do an extra episode and I'm gonna dedicate it to that person just like we did with Kate Black and Star Stable Online a couple weeks ago it's awesome so if you leave that kind of just detailed lighthearted, and no, I'm not looking for like 800 people in my family died and your videos cheer me up sort of comments. I'm looking more for the like, I really love watching you work on the cattery and spore. It's so adorable. I can't wait to see how many space cats we create. Those kinds of comments. And then I will snag that comment and hopefully have enough energy to use it to create a new extra episode on top of the usual episodes for that week and dedicate it to you. So thank you guys so much. <laughs> I need to go ahead and tuck these birdos in. They're chirping so much because they're ready to go to sleep and get back to work telling so many adventures and going on so many stories, telling so many stories, going on so many adventures. There we go with you guys. And I really look forward to sharing not only our regular adventures, but those little battle creatures, those little battle creatures in the Sims 4 tomorrow with you. So I'll see you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>